So let's say you have this tape, which is taped to the floor, and you want to re reveal it dramatically because, you know, it's art. How can you do it? Well, you can do it using Cinema 4D and I will show you how. So for the curtain itself, I'm gonna create a plane. Then I will change the orientation to plus Z, I will move it up and make it a bit smaller. I will increase these segments to something like 40. And for the curtain hanger, I'm gonna use a cylinder. I will change the orientation to plus X, I will move it up, I'll change the radius to something like 3 and increase the height so it exceeds the plane. Next I will make both of these editable and add a cloth tag to this plane. As you can see it falls down. So what I need to do, I need to add a cloth collider tag to the plane and to my object. So when I press play it collides with them. Next if I want to make this curtain stick to this hanger I will have to add a belt tag, cloth belt tag. I will drag this cylinder inside here and now I will select this point mode. I will select these upper points of this plane and go in here and click set. So now if I go back to this model mode and select the cylinder, press play and move this around, you can see that the curtain is already dynamic. So now, while the animation is playing, I can change the scale of this cylinder. I can move it down so the curtain covers my object. Like this. And now, if I go in here, in the dresser, I set the initial state. When the animation will start, the curtain will be already in this place. Next, if I want to make the curtain a little bit thicker, I can add this cloth surface tag. I can click this bulging on, I can change the thickness to minus, minus 2 or 1, whatever you like, and I can even add this subdivision surface, so the curtain looks even more natural. So now for the final animation, at frame 0, I will select my cylinder, click record active object, then I will go to frame 100, I will move my hanger back and up and click record active object again. And now, as you can see, the hanger moves back and it slowly reveals your object, your art. So if you have any questions or you want me to go into more detail about something, you can write a comment and I will respond. Leave a like if you like this tutorial so YouTube knows I did a good job.